What up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been busy. And me and my mom and brother were like, heck, let's make a last minute Thanksgiving dessert. And I know all you guys are saying, Rox, it's already Thanksgiving. What does it matter? I'm like, well, our family's school and we do Thanksgiving is on Fridays and Saturdays. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make cheesecake since my mom's the best at it. Duh. All right, so get three blocks of cream cheese and put them in a bowl. And once you're done with that, put them in a microwave for 20 seconds to let them thaw out. And then... Sugar. Get one full cup of sugar and pour it with the cream cheese. Didn't see that. Alright, then once you're done with that, get your mixer and start low on a low speed and then work up. So, Alright guys, so once you got all that mixed up, since we don't have sour cream, life lesson, always come prepared. But we don't have sour cream. Since my mom's so good, she's making it, she knows how to make a substitute of sour cream. So get one half cup of milk and add it to the mix. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dad in the back. He's getting ready for work and petting the boy, Louie. Fan favorite over there. All right, guys, add one day tea teaspoon of vanilla extract and this is the vanilla we're using and put it in while you're mixing the cream cheese sugar and vanilla all right guys so once you're mixing all that up and it's all mixed put the butter in there put a half a stick half cup half cup of butter it's because we're cool so add it in how much water do you put a fourth a cup huh. how much water do you put in this um you have to read it it's in fourth a cup in here and a fourth a cup of sugar with your graham cracker and once you put that in smash it up Like that. Uh -huh. What? Get it nice and smashed. And if you're a professional, you don't roll it to the ends. It doesn't matter. All right. Do you think now mix the cheese? butter in with it and um, with your mix. And yeah, mix it in. And I'll see you guys once we're done mixing. Alright guys, we're done mixing and take guesses on what we put in next. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So you add a full packet of butterscotch pudding. If I was you guys, I would not leave the video right now. This is all staged and this was all on purpose. I'll come back once I'm done mixing the butterscotch pudding in with the mix. Alright guys, do you remember the um, crust? So, once you're done smashing it, add a 
melted butter stick. No, I didn't use the whole stick. I just took a scoop. And Take a scoop. So there's sugar, graham crackers, and melted butter. And I'm just kind of squishing them all together to make a crust. And what did you add to the pan before you added that? Butter. So you want to put butter on the pan before yeah. you add the crust? I rub butter around the bottom of the pan. Alright guys, I got done mixing the butterscotch pudding. So now we're going to add eggs. And there's a couple rules about your eggs. So... One. Okay, guys, the rules them. about your eggs is but you want to put them in one at a time. So we don't do that. And don't make sure they're and room temperature. Another rule is and you can only add them don't mix too much or it will create bubbles. Them. All right, about to add my first egg. So crack. Splat. Splat. And you know what they say. An egg a day keeps the eye doctor away. Next egg going in. Next egg entering. The Super Bowl. Alright, goodbye. Alright guys. Just got done mixing all the eggs in. Three eggs were added to the mix. And I mixed them for about... I mixed them for about 30 seconds. And now we're about to add our mixture to the crust. And my mom did a wonderful job on her graham cracker crust, crust, a little crust, and um, yeah, let's add it. All right, guys, we're about to add it. One second. All right, guys, we're about to add it. One second. I'm just saying, you really, you really should let me go and get some. I am back. You want to have all your mixture, so. It's fine. Dump it in your bowl once you have it decently cleaned off. Just look at that. Just look at it. Just look at that. Doesn't this just want you to look at it? Look at that. Once you have it all poured in, make sure it's evenly spread across the whole entire border. So once it's spread all over, then you're gonna wanna put it where? In the oven. In the oven for a total of? On 350 for like an hour, maybe? 350 for an hour. Or until it's done. Or until it's done. And show we have a water bath in the oven to keep it moist. A water bath in the oven to yeah. keep it moist. Um, a water bath is where you put a pot of water under your cheesecake while you're baking it in the oven. Yeah. All right, I'll get back with you guys once we put it in the oven. Oh. 
And I am warning you guys. Do not. I am repeating this because it's very important. Do not clean your utensils with your mouth. Because raw egg could hurt you. Don't. Don't do it. It's all over your mouth. It makes me want to puke. Alright guys. So I'm back. And um. When I was uh. Not cleaning the utensils with my mouth. Is baking powder my mom sneaked the, the baking cheesecake or in the oven. Like so what she did was the pan, she put this aluminum wrap. I think that's called. Hey, aluminum yeah. foil over the top so it doesn't burn the crust. So make sure you do that or your cheesecake's gonna be doo doo. Alright? Prevents the rim from getting burnt. So yeah. I'm gonna show you guys the results after an hour, which is probably gonna be like three seconds for you guys. But anyway, bye right, guys. I'm finally back. It's been like three days. I know. You can call me lazy. You can call me a silly willy. But this is the final result. Mom put some uh, dog turd on the top of it. Cow tails. Oh, cow tails. And we glazed it with the top of peanut butter? No, um, chocolate and cow tails. Chocolate and cow tails. Do you want any or no? And. I'm leaving it out or not. It was really good. So yeah, I highly recommend the only reason I'm not eating it is because I'm a wrestler. But, yeah. You're missing out. You're missing out. I wouldn't do the edges with the graham crackers. Don't do the edges with graham crackers. Just leave it plain. But. Put cookies in here or put sugar on the graham crackers. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you made it through this video this far. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about my channel so I can blow up. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.